What's up everybody? Today I'm gonna teach you five steps to getting a bigger back. And I don't know what you're thinking. You're the guy for this. I know, which is why I'm filming this. Look at that. Look at that letter. That's my back. Jesus Christ. And if that doesn't and if that doesn't convince you, I'm wearing a muscle shirt. You don't wear a muscle shirt if you don't have muscles. Ugh. Five steps to having a bigger back. Step whoa, 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 slow down, slow down, slow down. My name's Gus. And welcome back to the channel. Jeez, look at this angle. I look jacked. Oh. All right, so number one, pro tip. When it's back day, warm up with pull-ups. Now, I apologize for looking up. I'm just looking at the screen. Anyways, you got to warm up with pull-ups. It's the best pre fatigueness to start the workout. You want to always over-exhaust, no, pre-exhaust your muscle before you actually go in into, like, can't even tell you the secret today because we're still on one, which is pull-ups. Check this out. It's going to be a voiceover. Now, when you do those pull-ups, make sure you start off slow and easy. It's just a warm-up. Remember, we're on step number one. So you want to contract each way going up, lifting from chest up. Now you're probably thinking, why are you out of breath doing a voiceover? Well, it's also because, back to me, I'm filming that and I'm speaking right after, so I'm out of breath. Apologies, can you forgive me? I am exhausted. Matter of fact, I'm filming this whole video for you guys. After the fact, I already did a pull day, which is back and biceps. I'm exhausted, so apologies. So yeah, step number two. You wanna move right into a heavy barbell row. What? You wanna move right into a heavy barbell row. I'm not gonna do heavy. Why, why? You're a little bitch, that's why. No, shut up, because I'm already exhausted and I already worked out prior. So this is a barbell row, step number two. I know what you guys are thinking. Cause you're a little bitch, you're wearing, you're wearing a waist thingy that holds your, your back tight and your abs tight so you can lift heavier. I'm exhausted, leave me alone. Yes, it does make it easier, but you wanna keep that form. You don't wanna hurt your back. More likely for the last three reps to wear a, I'm so, I'm a meathead right now, I can't even remember the, what it's called. It's just around my stomach, so we're gonna call it the stomach thing. Order to wear the stomach thing when you're lifting heavy because you might be strong for the first four reps, but if your set is eight reps, then you wanna hit the last two as best as you can, even how tired you are. So that's where this comes in play. You watch this, so I'm gonna grab it, grab it. So the idea is, up, down, up, down. Now you can say it with me, you know, look. Up, down. So the barbell rolls are tricky. I gotta show you guys from the side view. Oh my God. Ready? So this is the top of a deadlift. Bring it down, hello. Don't check my butt, check the weight. So what you wanna do is lift inwards, okay? How can I show you guys where it's going? So you, oh my God, you basically, want to lift to right here. You want to bring it in to just on top of your pelvic bone. Watch and learn. These are the barbell rows. Boom, boom. I see a lot of people make the mistake where they're bringing it away to their chest. No, 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 stop. Bring it into your pelvic bone, okay? So that's step two. Oh my God, this is heavy. Guys, they're only 25 pounds. I already worked out prior. Leave me alone, I'm exhausted. So yeah, you wanna have this more for protection. Can I catch my breath? Can you back up? Now, step three is very key. Step three is what you call a barbell row or dumbbell row. You gotta have one knee on the, you gotta have one knee planted on this seat and the same hand, same side, cause you're lifting for the other side. So remember, the side you're not lifting for, every arm and leg is twitching in this. Your power's gonna come from the pressure you put on this seat. So you wanna lift in all the way down. And you wanna keep your back contracted for these, all right? This is step number three. I know what you guys are thinking. Guys, that's only a 15 pound dumbbell. And it's heavy, cause I'm already exhausted. So if you think I'm weak, that just shows only one thing. I'm natural. That only means one thing. All right, so, so what you wanna do is tuck, okay? Tuck, same thing to your pelvic bone, right? Tuck. So the most important thing you need to understand is look at how my elbow doesn't. Oh, you can't even see. Why don't you guys tell me? We have no communication, you know? That's the problem with us. We don't communicate very well. You guys gotta speak up. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what you're going through. How can I do this? Ugh. All right, now if I put this. Hello. All right, so watch this. So, what you wanna do is have a flat back. Alright, just like you're in doggy style. Alright, so what you wanna do is pull back, 
elbow needs to technically sort of drive inwards, but all of this is not moving. But I'm just showing you how to step. All right, so you're going like this. All right, all right. Are you looking? Cause I am. Jesus Christ, I'm sexy as fuck. Everyone should think that about themselves. So that's step three for a bigger back, because you know, I think I got a big back. As much as that mirror is dirty, I got a pretty wide back. So now step number four. Step number four is pretty simple. It's called a pullover. What is that, Gus? Well, that's exactly what I'm doing with the camera. Just bring it back and in. Well, Gus, we can't see that because you're looking at the camera. God, I know you can. Just wait. I'm going to show you the move with the camera. Here we go. Only your shoulders and high back, the high part of your back on it, Matt. And lift your pelvic up. Keep them legs planted on the ground. Grab safely with both hands and go back. Not too bad because then it starts working your chest. You only want to work the lats. And now you are with me. What's up, fellas? So that's step number four. I know you're wondering, Gus, we need one more. I want to have a big bag just like you. Give me a second. Catch my breath. Step number five. Step number five is this same thing. You bring it into your pelvic. Are we getting a bigger back or a bigger pelvic, Gus? Gee, I don't know. Try these down. You tell me what it feels like. It hurts. My back is killing me. In. Ow. Gus, why does it sound like that machine is made from 1921? What well, was it? Made in 1920. That's why it sounds like it's old. I know it needs lube, just like many of us male always don't have lube on hand because we run out of it because it's always next to our nightstand. Jesus Christ, give me a second here. But basically, that one's more about get you that up close and personal. Ooh. You see the, you see the vibes? Look at that. You want to always pull your chest out as you go in. You know what I'm saying? Don't move so much them legs, you're planted for a reason. You're using your lower back and your lats up top. You're doing good, guys. Now I know what many of you are thinking. That's not gonna give me a bigger back, it is. But you have to try it. Not for one day, not two times a week, not two times a week for two weeks, but two times a week for the rest of your life because a back grows gradually at a normal pace. It's a marathon, baby, not a sprint. Shout out Nipsey Hustle. You need to take your time at the gym. Don't worry about if someone's lifting heavier than you, if someone's doing more reps than you. They're not on the program. They're losing your minds. You wanna do all these. Now I didn't tell you how many sets and how many reps, but all that's gonna be listed down below. And that's how you wanna do things if you wanna succeed. Not only in the gym, but in school. It's true, it's a scientific fact. If you work out your back more consistently, you're gonna get an A in bio. Now, I don't know about chemistry, it doesn't really work like that, but in bio, you're definitely gonna get an A if you work on your back. And now you might need a bigger chest to get an A in math, but it's not a fucking chest video, dog. This is a back video. As you can see, this is a back video, yeah. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy these tips from Gus. Now, there's many videos out there that tell you how to get a bigger back, but they're lying because their name's not Gus, and only people with names Gus can give you a bigger back and an A in bio, apparently. Remember, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a trainer, I'm not a PE teacher, I'm just here to tell you what works for me and it can work for you. There's no guarantee, all right? You're not gonna get an A in bio just because. You also gotta put in the work. Don't believe me, I'm a sarcastic asshole, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. And it's gonna be one every Wednesday and Saturday. I hope, Jesus Christ, please be consistent, Gus. I know what you're thinking, you need this energy every day, but I can only post two times a month. Whoa. Well, that would be a bad of a YouTube job on me two times a week, so I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm putting a little twist to make it fun so you guys won't think gym is boring. It's not a sport. It's more of a lifestyle. See you next time in Gus's home gym, which I didn't show you guys, but we definitely renovated like you care. You don't even know who I am. You're just watching this video to see if you can get a good workout or a good laugh because this guy's ugly. Look at this ugly guy with gains. How does he get girls? I don't. So I try to start getting gains because this face ain't getting me nowhere. Look how pale I am. Hold up. I can fix that. I can't. So we're gonna have to deal with that. Deuces.